This is the 968S internally programmable TT patch bay, which I'm now going to show you how to gain access and change the internal normaling and grounding settings. Next, you'll want to remove the seven screws on both the top, which I've already removed here, and the bottom. This gains access to the interior shunt bank, which is top and bottom on there as well. This is the non-normal switch ground, and I'm now going to create a full normal switch ground simply by inserting two shunts vertically in the second and third position on that particular patch point that I want the full normal switch ground in place. So there you have it. Here we have the non-normal switch ground and I'm going to show you how to do a half normal switch ground simply by inserting two red shunts vertically across the top two. There's one. There's two. Now there is an additional step here underneath where we recommend moving the switch that's in a full normal position up one notch to the half true, half normal position. Much like that, you just simply move that up one position. Now you have the half normal switch ground. Here we have the non-normal switch ground, and I'm going to demonstrate how to make a non-normal bus ground. Do nothing on the top settings. The bottom, you'll want to remove the white shunt from, in this case, it's the second position down. And we put two horizontal in the third and fourth position. There you go. Now you have bus ground. It actually defeats the switch ground capability in a non-normal situation. Now I'm going to demonstrate a full normal bus ground. We have here currently a non-normal switch ground. Take one red shunt, go across your second and third, and the second red shunt, go across the second and third adjacent to that on this given channel. That creates your full normal. Now we need to go an additional step on the underside here and pull the, the switch ground capability and then essentially defeat it by putting a white shunt horizontally across the third and fourth. It's the bottom two positions horizontally, that is. Like so. So now you have bus ground, which defeats the switch ground capability with the full normal in place. Here we have the non-normal switch ground, and I'm going to demonstrate a half normal bus ground capability. So you simply want to put two red shunts and vertically in the top two positions on the top settings here. On the underside, you're going to want to remove the switch ground that was in there. And again, put two white shunts horizontal across number three and four. And there you have it. There's your bus ground, which defeats the switch ground capability in a half normal setting.